please give a warm welcome to celebrity dentist, Dr. Bill Dorfman. Wow, it looks awesome. Look at y'all. Well, first of all, thank you, Mitchell, Lisa, distinguished guests, undistinguished guests, and you know who you are, and honored faculty. And thank you to the graduating class of 2017, your families. Now, I realize that most of you are hungry and some of you have splitting headaches, but you can't leave till I do this, so listen up. When Mitchell first asked me to do this, I thought, what would a younger me want to have heard 34 years ago when I graduated from dental school? Now, I speak at medical and dental schools all over the country. And the first thing I like to tell students is that I hope that they all have the satisfaction and the success that I've had in the health field. And I don't say this to boast or to brag. I say this because one of the things that I think that really made me successful was learning really early on to copy genius. And so I hope that you guys will take that to heart. Now, copying genius is a lot different than copying your friend's test when you're taking a test. That's a bad thing. Copying genius from a mentor or somebody who can teach you, that's a good thing. So I sat back and I tried to think of eight pearls to leave you guys with today that will help you with your careers in the health field. The first thing is find a great mentor. Now that can be a boss, a friend, a family member. I'll tell you a little story. For me, it was different. When I came to Beverly Hills to start practicing, the last thing that Beverly Hills needed was another cosmetic dentist. So I did some research, and I found the five most successful dentists in Beverly Hills. And I called them up, and I said, look, I just graduated dental school. Can I come in and shadow you? Well, they all said yes. And you'll realize that in life, People that are successful like to help young people, so don't be bashful to do that. So I went and I sat in their office and I just took notes. I was like a sponge. And I, I, I wrote down the good, the bad, the ugly. And then when I left, I tried never to do the bad or the ugly, but just focus on the good. So I took the best thing from these five practices and tried to make mine better. Number two, be positive. You spend more time with your work family than you actually do with your real family, than with your loved ones and with your friends. Be positive, be happy. I always tell my kids, when you wake up every morning, you have a choice to make. Am I gonna be happy or am I gonna be sad? Pick happy, it's so much better. Nobody wants to work with the Debbie Downer, right? Pick happy. Number three, don't just do your job, do more. Exceed expectations. If I have a patient that comes into my dental office and I do everything that patient wanted me to do, they'll walk out satisfied. If I exceed their expectations, on average, they'll tell 10 people. And with social media today, they'll tell a hundred or a thousand. And that's how practices grow. When patients come into your offices, don't meet their expectations, exceed them, and you will make your practices even more successful than you ever thought they could be. Number four, don't let your job pigeonhole you. You have endless opportunities. I'll be honest with you, 99% of dentists that graduate sit in their office and drill teeth. That's all they do. And if that makes you really happy, that's great. But for me, 
I use dentistry as a starting point. For me, I use dentistry as a building block to being a New York Times bestselling author, to being on primetime TV shows, to starting foundations, to raising money, all kinds of things to help the world. So you get to pick, but just remember, the possibilities are endless, and you're the only one who limits yourself. Number five, from now on, never fail. You think it's impossible? It's not. Let me explain to you why. If I try something and it doesn't work, I don't consider that failure. I consider that practice. So I do it again, and if it didn't work, that's more practice. And sometimes I'll do it again and again and again and again and again until finally I get it right. So did I fail? No, I practiced a lot. So if you try something it doesn't work out, don't get down on yourself and look at that as failure. That's practice. You only fail when you quit. Don't quit. The next two are my favorite. Number six, don't wait for opportunities in life. Make them. I meet so many people that are just waiting and waiting. I'm, I'm like, waiting for what? Nothing's going to fall from heaven on your lap. You need to make it happen. And even better than that, number seven, when you do get an opportunity, don't take it. Master it. And there's a big difference. Okay, I'll admit it. I was this nerdy kid, okay? At two, three years old, I wanted to be a dentist. Go figure. I mean, little boys wanted to be firemen and policemen and, and, and army men. I want to be a dentist, okay? That never wavered throughout my life. And actually, I embraced that. And all the things I do in my life, Dentistry is a thing I really feel I was put here to do. Then ABC calls me up and gives me this opportunity to be on the first reality show that they did called Extreme Makeover. I wasn't an actor. I didn't know about TV. I'm not going to lie to you. The first few episodes, it was painful to watch me. I was that bad. I was awkward. I, I did everything wrong. So instead of sitting there and thinking, oh man, I stink, I said, you know what? I'm gonna hire people to help me. I hired a, a media trainer. I took acting lessons. I took hosting lessons. I took teleprompting lessons. Because I realized that if I could make a great image on TV, it sold product. And our sales virtually doubled the first year I was on Extreme Makeover. So instead of sitting there and feeling like a loser, I did something about it. When we built our company, Discus Dental, we built a company from nothing. I mean, I went to dental school. They didn't teach me business. The first year in business, we did two million, then four million, then eight million, then 16 million. And I realized, geez, I need to learn business. So I went back to UCLA and I took business classes. And our business plateaued at about $76 million in sales. And then I had the good fortune of being on Extreme Makeover. And that year, our sales went to $101 million, $130 million, $170 million. Because I didn't just take an opportunity. I really made the most of it. And I want you guys to take everything that you learned in your education now, not as an end point but as a starting point, as a starting point for all the other things that you have that you can do. Just open your mind. Number eight, give back. Now, I started off, I was poor. I, I didn't really have much to give back. But I went to the battered women's shelter 
And I worked for free on women that had gone through rehabilitation there. I took my kids into Mexico and we worked in clinics where we did dentistry for free on orphans. And my company gave back. We, in the end, we gave almost $1.2 million to the Children's Dental Center in, in LA. And as we started to get better at doing that, we formed something called Smiles for Life with country singer Garth Brook, where we raised $38 million for children's hospitals. Give back. The last thing I want to tell you, and I practice this with the graduating class, when you woke up this morning, whether you thought you did this or not, you all put a number on your head. One's the lowest, ten's the highest. And some of you guys didn't put a 10 on your head. And at the end of the day, I say, who picked the number? You. Pick a 10. Walk like a 10. Talk like a 10. Surround yourselves with other 10s because at the end of the day, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And if you surround yourselves with twos, how are you going to be a 10? So we practice this. Graduates, get on up. We're going to do this for these guys. Everybody on your feet. Repeat after me. I am. I am. Really? Come on. I am. I am. A, ten. a 10. I walk like a 10. I talk like a 10. Because like I, like I really, really am a 10. <laughs> Sit down. Look, life is not easy. You are going to face challenges every day. Learn from your challenges. Remember, you'll never fail again if you don't give up. And deep down inside, when you have your biggest doubts, remember, you really, really are a 10. Thank you.